Mina Zainab Habibrim, the owner of Fabrics for You. Fabrics for You, we they sell different quality fabrics, there, like wax print, wooden, where we they get from Ghana. We also get the tie dye, where they call Ghana locally, where we they produce Yana Seedian. I started this business five years ago. We've been there on Wilkinson Road, Nighttime in the shop. We moved go Kingdom Hall, and now we recently did 56 Puta Road. We do offer different um, African prints. Um, we they do lace, we they do wooden, which, which is from Ghana. We also they do the wax prints, the good quality wax prints. It's very soft to touch. We also they offer tailoring service. We get in house, so it's like a one-stop shop. You get your fabric. You can come in also with your fabrics. They do good quality sewing. We get tailors them, professional ones there. We they do men, women, and also for kids. You can buy from we, you left for so, you can even bring your fabric in and then we can sew out as well. So I can say we market a more or a mixed. We get more Sierdinians and they buy from we, we get expatriates then and yet we always get and people are in and out where they can work out. So most of the time, so people can pass by for get gifts for carry home for their families. I can see my inspiration for start a fabric business. Growing up, I uh, grew around my granny. It be really like close. So every Friday, where they go for go pray, I can always be around for help and out, sort and close them out. So growing up, I don't be around materials them and I go for like African fabric and Mr. Seth like for well the print. So most of the time if you see me, I always do an African print and they, I really like what they do so now that inspired me for starting my own fabric business. Before the fabric business I've been the work I work like 18 months for a project and uh, it now an NGO USAID. I worked for 18 months, then I decide for resign. But during the time before I resign, I've been done to do small, small, they sell around, put the big uh, fabric set inside me, vehicle, they go around itself to people then. And then in the end, I decide for rent me shop and start. I could say the challenges they always there, most especially when you start. But to be sincere, I go, I really, really happy with the people that were on me throughout where I start this business then. When I big people then, I will call our family. They always there around for help me out, for give me advice, and I always open for listening to customers then. If people, somebody come now, you know, meet me, he get a complaint, he call me, I they listen for make sure say we eye on them out and make sure say wait till he complain about we not good, we put them. Right, so it's not easy, business not easy, but I think so. We don't try for Musa, we start here, Musa, we day. I'm not gonna say it's a challenge for me because, as a strong person, I get a very strong personality, so I do pull with every person we can, everybody, so like. And then I will say back doing a business like fabric business now I'm more like a woman business. So as long as you know what you do, you know way, how for talk to people, eh? it's okay. Like fashion, you see me every single day. Depend on the mood, but 99% of the time I well dressed in an African fabric. Even if I go out, if I get the chance to go to wear African fabric every single day, I did do them. And even while they go on holiday, most of the time, all me things that what they go with in African fabric, and all made by me tailors the way they did yeah. When it is El Bacana shop, that moment it, it was a surprise for me because I wasn't called. 
like he was coming to the shop. I had a friend, nine called me and tell me, say, you know what? You did not shop? I say yes. He said, when will they come? So I say, okay. Then later when he come, he just tell me, say, say I get a client, we want for visit to shop. He say, but he did on the way. Few minutes later, see a could pull in, and then I resell by nine come. So he be, I be really happy because as we all know, Somebody way na a son to the soil. He just decides say where he come, he go purchase um, African materials the way they go out with for make them go design for him. So it'd be nice. He go around, he ask me how the business they do, waiting they go on, and then he ask me if I can help him for choose some of him fabrics then for him wife and he take one or two for him mama. Be really nice. And then we take pictures there, which we share on social media, which plenty of my friends and family are happy about it because most of them also help me for sharing. Business for now is slow. Most especially with waiting the ground with the dollar eight. So for every day where we they wake up, we they look forward for another day, but it's a bit difficult for now. We had a funny move, a moment and don't happen most of the time where you they get different customers and they come in. Sometimes they see somebody, they come in and tell you, say, I like that dress way well, well, exactly now this I want for make you so. And then you can tell and say, this one way I wear so, the body type different, you sure say one time, you say yes. So sometimes they can, they wear, they can and try the clothes on, then get everything right, but then they will tell you, say no. It not fits me the way we fit you, so I not go pay for the clothes. Most embarrassed moment I go. Which one I go say, like it really happened? Uh, I go say my most embarrassing moment now when you get customers the way can come in. Sometimes they can they because they do with too many people. That everybody expects you for making no harm and no name. So sometimes they can they, I can mistake for call somebody else another name way is supposed to be the real name. My advice to people that want to start their business, most especially in fabric business, one of the most important thing for do, you need for liquidity they do, you get for be passionate about it. Because without passion, you know, they're able to move from this, this sideways start for go ahead. So most of the ten challenges then can come every single day. When you go lead on, yes, you can sit down, you cry, you talk about it to friends and family. Then from there, you they grab the morning back for make you start a new day. And that's not passion they make you do that. I mean, I could talk say I look like as possible like uh, African prints. Me like all the fabrics there uh, I like. So most of the time, it depends on the design and how I see the fabric, but I like each and every one of the fabrics they want to sell. I don't get a favorite one. Everything is my favorite in the shop.